Welcome friends to another 40k video. Today we come back again to the Sisterhood of Silence, looking at three aspects, the pariah gene, their valve silence, and what happens when they're riding round in the black ships. Want to know? Friends, let's find out. The sisters, in line with their name, operate in secrecy. The numbers that fight for the emperor are unknown, but it remains part of the Divisio Astra Telepathica and fulfills a dual role with the Allegio Custodes, with the sisters aiding the emperor with his secret work and the Custodes help with his warfare. The numbers would be in their tens of thousands towards the end of the Great Crusade. Though wildly dispersed, with many on the black ships, they have a lunar headquarters, as the book tells it, the Somnus Citadel, a facility handed over by the ancient Selenite cults and the Magadan Orbital Construct, the fortified orbital anchorage station, utilised by the League of Black Ships in the Sol system to deliver their cargo and forbidden to all others. Much of the sorting of psychers in the Great Tithe is done in prohibited star systems to lower the risk from untrained psychers, and in the wider Imperium these systems are only known from vague and sifting code designations. In these places, the sisters only hold sway. The resources they need and the types of facilities they have, none save the Emperor know. Only the navigators of the black ships know the locations of these anchorage points and processing places. Within the ships themselves, they are highly automated. Less crew means less can go wrong between the crew and the psychic cargo, and this also lets the ships go for voyages of long durations without resupply also lowering the danger as no contact is made. Once the psycho is on board, they are taken to cells, and the structure itself has systems built in to resist the psycho's connection to the warp. The cells have various uses, such as interment, punishment and interrogation, and cryocrypts and stasis chambers for the storage of the most dangerous subjects. The larger black ships carry weapons of exterminators class, such as planet mantle breaking cyclonic torpedoes and rare vortex warheads. These, rather than bioweapons, allow them to use world kill protocols or the destruction of a targeted area if a road psyker causes issues. The psychers, once captivated and incarcerated, live their lives in sealed biome crucibles, prisoning homes which ought to incinerate all within should their seals ever be compromised, such as the priceless wealth and human potential of the great tithe, judged and guarded. Once a sister's training is complete, which starts when they are found by the black ships as a child, this leads them to the vow of tranquillity. This speaks to their dedication to the point of death, and this vow of silence gives the sisters their name. With rare exception, and for the rest of their lives, they will say nothing, not under pain given to them through a blade or a bullet. Their stoicism will remain. This way, all their internal secrets are kept as just that. They are never given clemency on this point. As a physical sign of this, they wear a pot collie style armoured gorget as part of their armour. So, we have established why they don't talk. So, how do they communicate? Sign language. This is different styles, as the book explains, ranging from highly efficient and abrupt tactical accounts designed for the battlefield, detailed forms geared to the ready and precise expression of strategic concepts and actions, to, huge, to hugely complex and mimetically sophisticated systems intended to deal with the philosophical and technical abstracts. The last type is needed as the sisters are dedicated to fulfilling the great tithe of the psychers the emperor needs and also to look into cases where they need to chase, find and judge psychers. They also have a encyclopedia-like knowledge of psychers from across the Imperium as they are uniquely styled to hold their peace. If they speak to others outside their ranks, say to a custodian, then they will sign in a clear way they can understand, but also through apprentices and warriors in training who act as go-betweens and through techno liquid systems which allow the sisters signing to be rendered into machine readable languages at great speed. This can even be turned into a vox signal. The sisters themselves can also communicate in non-verbal ways such as clear features, status battle signs and graphic ways for conversing with the other forces of the Imperium. 
Now, as to their abilities and the gene itself that they carry within them, the pariah gene, it is known as and has proven a difficult subject to be studied when organisations such as the Imperial Arco Technologist Corps and the Mechanicum have tried to exploit it. They caught a disaster, and so the Emperor outlawed further study. Only he directly would experiment with it. But for the attempts that were made, the results were they failed. Accounts of certain clades of the Officio Assassinorum and the dread and obscure Order Sinister also contain evidence of the Emperor's own engineered use of the psychic knowing warfare. Many questions remain, like how did the gene arise? Was it manufactured to aid those with non-enhancements? Or was it Xenos tampering with human genetics? Or an experiment of the dark age of technology? No answer is clear. The, the, the Divisio has investigated and no space means or custodians have ever shown the prior gene as they were artificially made. Perhaps it's a natural part of human evolution in line with more of humanity becoming psychos overall. So now friends, I turn things over to you. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Sisterhood of Silence. Got something to say or ask? Drop me a comment down below.